Are you feeling stressed from building responsive pages in Bubble? Welcome to Motion Product. My name is Michael. In today's video, we're going to take a look at designing a responsive layout landing page for a meditation app. We're going to be taking a look at some layout tips and tricks and best practices on laying things out and designing within Bubble. And hopefully these tips can help you in your own design process as well. To make it easier to reference the colors that I use for this um, landing page of, of neutral tones and oranges and browns, I added them to the settings as my default palette. I found my meditation themes images on Unsplash and to create this block here and this image here, I put the image into remove background to remove the background. Next, I'm, I'm choosing a serif font to elevate a brand a little bit. And here I'm using Playfair Display, which pairs well with Inter, which is the default font of the Frames extension. And then use the styling properties to configure the designs to look the way I want it to look. And then once I was happy with that, I clicked Create New Style to um, be able to reuse that style for other elements on the page. To make the header have a white background, once we start scrolling, I set a condition to change the background header once the user has scrolled more than 80 pixels. I've also, I've also added a transition to ease in the color change in the final card. To get the header and footer to go full width, but the other elements to stay within the container, I made the width uh, when stretched to be 300%. To handle the gap between the heading and the text, I went to the property editor and when you click string height when text is shorter bubble will figure it out and remove the awkward spacing and that's it i kind of made it on this next step by accident but you can use negative position in bubble to lay out your elements for example if you push things off on the left hand side you decrease it by, by and the number of pixels you want it to do in this case is minus 20 pixels and if you wanted to push it off the main container on the right hand side you would add 20 pixels i moved the bottom element uh, up to cover the woman's leg so she's actually sitting on the problem hmm. aren't we all sitting on our problems now for the animation of the text i created a workflow to trigger the animation on page load you can get fancy by linking this animation to activate uh, depending on how much the user has scrolled. So this would be useful if you wanted to trigger the um, animation later on in the page. But I'll leave that to you to make your own page more awesome than this page. Now, putting it all together, a good landing page should tell a story that will benefit the user. We start off with the hero to explain and what this app is in a sentence. Now we hit you with the problem and we say that we know how that can make you feel. Then we hit you with the solution. And if you don't believe us, here's some social proof via a testimonial. You can also check out some of the existing work we did on these other platforms. Hopefully you are convinced and you're ready to pay for our plan. But if you're hesitant and have some questions, don't worry. We have them answered in this frequently asked questions area. But if you're interested, but you're not ready yet, you can sign up for our newsletter. But to be honest, it's 2021. We should have a better way to handle this kind of flow. So let me know what you think in the comments below of what this blog could be in 2021. And finally, we have a profile of the awesome instructor who will be guiding you through your meditation. I hope this gives you an idea of what can be built using Bubble and Frames and how this elevates the game for responsive design within Bubble. Please leave a comment below if you know of any other tips and tricks in, out there that can make, help all of us elevate our designs better within Bubble. Thank you for watching and here are some other no-code videos to help you on your journey to making better products.